the people that we uh, I contacted to film really had interesting stories to tell about their work history. Some of them have worked at different corporations for 20 to 30 years. And what ended up happening was the factories, you know, almost 20 of them closed down. And these elders were talking about how it dramatically shaped their future. Some of them were forced into early retirement. Some of them were forced to take service jobs. They'd never made the wage that they had left at the factory. Um, so it really changed their lifestyles. For me, that was the most compelling narrative thread in the interviews to select people to interview. Those that told the tale of incredible perseverance, those who told stories of reinvention, of not succumbing to, but overcoming. And you know, what I found is these are not tales of woe, but that these tales are, are really positive examples of people's work ethic and people's strength. And I think that's, that to me um, was one of the identifying factors to choose um, people to interview. We created an outline of what we thought the story needs to be about, and then we met with uh, another co-producer that's working with us who was a member of the tribe, and the three of us sat down and figured out who would be great contacts to talk about each of these points that are in this. It's about a page and a half to two page outline of the story that we have in our mind that we want to tell. We came up with a list of folks that we thought would be appropriate to, to tell the story, and we're still working our way through those. It's going to be we're gonna be doing that at least through spring semester as well. One of the things I really try to get people to talk about, um, which they don't automatically identify with, is that they have an important story to share. They think everyday lived experience is not important, and I actually value that above all. You know, I don't wanna read about the Lumbee in a textbook. I don't wanna read about work history in a textbook. I'd rather talk to a person, and by phrasing the questions in a particular way, I'm able to get people to share what was it like working on an assembly line? What was it like knowing that you were making less pay than your male counterpart? What was it like knowing that you had three more months to work before the job was being shipped overseas? What was going through your mind and how did that impact your family and the larger community? And I think that, you know, asking those kinds of questions reveals so much about not just a person, but the community itself and the, the region.